Today I will guide you how to set up this Rubik safe for the first time. It is very easy to operate. Um, usually when you receive it, it is in this position. So it is the panel looks like this and there is a hanging pouch here. So let me show you what is in there and then I guide you how to set it up. Okay, so there are two set of the keys in the safe box. Uh, this safe box uh, work in combination with pin code and the key. And this key is considered as a backup or emergency key. So in case someday your pin code is not working or the batteries are fin finished, that time you need this key. So this key should never be inside. This key should be always outside somewhere at safe place. Uh, which you can uh, recover at the time of emergency or when you need it okay so I, I will I will come back to the this point so we will see how to use the key before that this is the spare battery pack you can simply add the batteries here if someday the batteries are finished and the panel is not working like pin code is not working you can just add the batteries here and there is a pinhole over there you can just connect it and you will get the power after adding the batteries okay so this is another way uh, in case of emergency where batteries are finished and you need to open up the safe this is one way another way is two keys okay these are the bolts if you want to fix it on the wall uh, you need these bolts uh, on the wall or in the closet if you want to fix it somewhere in concrete maybe a different kind of bolts are required uh, your installation guy would help you these are the batteries these are just the starter batteries free batteries as a complementary so you can just add the batteries and try to operate the safe but we do not recommend to use the starter batteries we recommend you to install alkaline batteries only so any good brand like chameleon energizer duracell buy alkaline batteries only fresh alkaline batteries um, uh, not like old stock and uh, it, it would work for over a year so let's start operating the safe we open this small window so we can see the key area all right so as i mentioned we have two keys this is emergency key so we insert it here and this is the safe opening key sorry there is a cut here so this key we have to push it and then turn to the left this key we have to push it and turn to the right safe will open for the first time when you open the safe do not try to pull it once door is open this will remove automatically if you try to pull it before the door will jam all right so we remove all these things now we can operate the safe we have to remove this key now no longer required so after opening the safe you will add the batteries in this compartment I have already added the batteries by default there are no batteries so you have to add some good batteries over there this is alarm so in case you enter the wrong password about five times uh, it will ring on the sixth attempt the safe will ring this is just a shelf it's removable you can remove it this is just a carpet it's removable this arrow indicates to a red button which is over there it is to clear the passwords any passwords you have here it will clear the passwords this panel can have up to two passwords one is user password one is uh, management password management password means uh, you can say administrative password so uh, like you can share it with you with your family member or in case of emergency you can use the other password if you forgot one so let's start it's pretty easy as i have already added the batteries i will close the safe okay after adding the batteries you can start operating the safe with the default password default password is one two three four and the factory password is uh, which is the administrative password or you can say the uh, the other pa management password it is one two three four five six all right so let's try first one two three four hash open now you can open the safe okay 
and the second password is which is the administrative password you can say one two three four five six hash okay you can open okay so the first thing i have show you how to open the safe by default uh, using the default password the next next thing is how to change the password it's again pretty easy but before we jump to changing the password let me explain you after you enter the password you will see open written on the screen at the same time you have to press the static button to enter into the programming mode and then you enter the new password confirm the new password and you are done let's see safe is locked as you can see so i enter the old password which is one two three four hash now i mean i will go to programming mode static set c1 means i have to enter new password one 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 hash to confirm again one 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 hash to confirm done c1 in so safe is lock one 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 hash okay the same way we will change the administrative password but please remember one thing this is very important your master password and your user password should not be same or your user password or your administrative password should not be same they are same thing i'm calling master password or administrative password it's the same thing but important thing to remember your these two passwords should not be same if they are same you have to open the safe box and you have to uh, clear both the passwords and then you have to set it up again okay now let's see how to change the administrative password one two three four five six open you will enter the programming mode enter the new password let's suppose nine 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 hash to confirm again nine 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 hash to confirm c2 in so the first password is uh, c1 which is user password and if it's c2 it's administrative password okay safe is open all right if you don't want anyone to see your password on the screen before entering the password just press the static button example now you cannot see at any point of time if you want to change the password or you forgot your password and you open with the backup key let's see this way that you try to open the safe and safe is not opening so in that case you need this key insert the key push it turn to the left turn to the right safe is open go here press this red button for two seconds all the passwords are clear okay now my old password will not work now only factory passwords will work which is one two three four and one two three four five six means user password and the administrative password one two three four all right you can open and the second password so this is what happens if you forget the password you can just simply open it up using the key and you can clear the passwords so i hope uh, it helped you to operate the safe and uh, that's all thank you very much